Visually, the SU-57 looks stealthy, angular lines, slanted fins, low-profile nose. Then you notice odd choices. Instead of using one large blended engine bay like the F-22 or F-35, the Su-57 has separate engine nacelles. Similar to older flanker jets, this boosts agility and lift but makes it more visible to radar. Its vertical stabilizers are slanted like stealth jets but double as advanced control surfaces. Closer in design to the U.S., rejected YF-23 than the Raptor. Even the nose resembles the NF-23, a forgotten Navy concept. The SU-57 also features LERX surfaces, extra wing extensions for more lift. Again, the design says, maneuverability first, stealth second. And there's the big one. Engine nozzles. The SU-57 uses traditional, round vector thrust nozzles, not the flat stealth nozzles you'd expect. Plus, its engines, the AL-41F1S, have exposed fan blades, which reflect radar. Big no-no in stealth design. Oddly, even the older Su-47 had better stealth ducting. Critics noticed, and they didn't hold back. Let's talk radar cross-section, RCS. A measure of how invisible a plane is, according to leaked Russian patent data. The Su-57 has an RCS of 0, 1 to 1 square meter. Compare that to the F-35-0-0005 or the F-22-0-0001. That's a massive gap in aviation group ran independent RCS simulations. They found the Su-57 has a frontal RCS of 0, 48 square meters. The F-35 dust 0.06. Basically, the Su-57 is stealthy from the front, but lit up from other angles. Though, no. This isn't F-22 rival.